All right, good evening, YouTubers. <clears throat> good morning, good afternoon. I guess it just depends on what time you record, uh, watch this video. It's, uh, geez, I gotta clock this wrong. Anyway, it's almost 11.30, 23.30 here on the East Coast. I finally somewhat completed a project. Um, what I've been wanting to do was take a load leveling air compressor from a station wagon, my first car that I used to have, and I've had this thing for years um, since I've had the car and long got rid of it. Uh, but anyways, I kept the pump uh, as I got different shocks in it. But, you know, I figured one day I'm, I'm going to do something with it. And I've been debating for probably the last month and a half how I was going to do it. I was going to pay to have someone uh, make this for me. And I, what you see what I did was I took a uh, brass fitting, a brass uh, uh, male nipple, and a little air compressor piece whatever whatever that is and i stuck it in this hole what used to be here was some big bald reservoir thing i don't i don't know what it was for and my first attempt i don't, I don't know how well you can see that but my first attempt was to solder it uh using um uh, aluminum brazing rod and what i wanted to do was take a smaller piece one that was an eighth of an inch was it eighth of an inch i don't know whatever was smaller and um, instead of gouging this little center piece out, which is about uh, 63 hundredths of an inch around, and this is 53 hundredths of an inch, so I only got one hundredths of an inch to work with, and I didn't really want to gouge it out or any of that good mess, um, just because I knew that it'd blow up or it'd be weak on me. Because And the reason why I wanted to build something like this was because I'm tired of the retail store uh, portable air compressors that only last you know only last for so long you know the little ones come with the jump packs or or whatever the case was uh, you only can fill up so many times and frequently I'm at home and I'm riding on the ATV or I want to uh, uh, fill the uh, the garden tractor tires and I don't want to drag out the air compressor and all that mess I just want something portable something I can take with me and like I said I had the, I had the other portable ones and some other ones you plug in the cigarette lighter and you know most of those have plastic gears and, and they just they didn't they didn't last you know very long at all so i built this and what i ended up doing uh was not what i wanted to do but it worked out worked out okay it still leaks somewhat but there's no there's no uh, teflon taping or anything um but what i ended up doing was drilling it out with the next smallest size because i either had a drill bit that was too small or it's too big so I just took a, took a drill bit that was closest to it, rounded out some. That wasn't enough for me to push this down and start cranking on it. So I ended up taking um, a uh, tap for making the holes, which, by the way, I had the same problem. They were either too big or they are too small or they weren't the right thread. But I had a couple of taps. Actually, I have a, a, a handful of taps that were the same size, so I figured, why not? I'll use one as a drill bit. So I put in the drill and it gouged it out very well, very nicely. And um, this ain't going anywhere. Uh, all I gotta do, I'll probably take this out and redo this and put the Teflon tape and stuff. But um, you'll see here, just like just like normal. Um, however you wanna do it. I got me one of these handy dandy things. I'm tired of the cheap ones too, so I got me one of these. Uh, built in the pressure gauge. It's meant for trucks, but I modified it. So I can plug it in my air compressor, but anyway, it'll drain this little battery. This is a 12 volt, nine and a half hour battery found in some of those jump packs, but it'll drain it kind of fast because you know this is a pretty hefty motor. These are um, 10 gauge wires coming off here, so you, you know it'll draw some power. And this thing has a little bit of a torque to it, so hang on a minute. I'll just I'll, I'll show you it, and you'll probably hear the air hissing out after a while. When you hear the motor slowing down, that's it's building up pressure. I have no idea how much it is, but it's uh, building up something. But all the air so far I've detected is just coming out right here, not anywhere else. I may have damaged it or anything, but I'm um, just sticking my hand across the um, across the uh, um, valve stem refiller thingy. Uh, I was able to hold it until about 40 psi, which that meets my needs. Perfect. I want to fill a car tire. I probably want, don't want to do it with this anyway, unless it's a, unless it's an emergency. But it works, and I'm very happy I did it.
Thanks for watching. Leave me in the comments and subscribe. Thank you.